when corporations split, it's almost like a fantasy draft. Like players get selected from within the, <laughs> the, the existing companies to kind of go to each each side. And so I actually got drafted to Team eBay. Um, oh, wow. And so given that there was this draft going on, regardless of which side I was ending up on, I was like thinking, let me just look at the landscape. So I was, you know, exploring all sorts of opportunities and I was really blessed and lucky on on his first day, Franz Posh, the, the new kind of chief corporate affairs officer at PayPal, uh, just kind of interviewed me and said, hey, would you would you want to come over and, and lead our policy shop? And, you know, that was that was cool because that was my boss's job at, at going to, you know, at eBay. And so that was exciting. And then it was I, and, and, you know, that's I, I really appreciate it that you've framed it as a new venture because it, it was a 17 year old company at that time. Um, but, or maybe like 15 or something like that, but it felt like a startup. I mean, it was the world's biggest startup, right? It was, you know, 15,000 people, but we had like no processes, no, you know, independent, we had an independent brand amongst consumers, but amongst the corporate kind of stakeholders, we did not really, it was always just a part of eBay for the last 14 years wow. or whatever it was. The company was only public for, you know, a year in 2001 before it got bought by eBay. So uh, it was a lot. It was an, it was really startup-y. I suppose I've never worked at a startup, so I can't say, but it felt like the momentum and the creativity, the like, we're starting from scratch. What is the mission of this company? What are the values this company wants to base itself off of? Where What is our approach when we think about government and public and nonprofit sectors like that was all a fascinating and fun to create right when 